So what do you think? Should secular music be played in a church service? Give me a reason why it should be. Well, first it is to draw people in kind of like a hook. A hook? Are you saying that you want to be fishers of men? Sure, we are called to do that. My question for you is, was Jesus talking about a hook or a net? After all, a hook utilizes deceit you have to hide something. Bait and switch is illegal where I come from. How are people supposed to hear about the gospel if we don't bridge the gap? Why can't you just preach the gospel and let the Holy Spirit do his work? After all, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 1 and 2 it says therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. Rather, we have renounced secret and shameful ways, we do not use deception, nor do we distort the word of God. On the contrary, by setting forth the truth plainly we commend ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. What are we just supposed to sing old dusty hymns Sunday after Sunday? God in the Bible said sing me a new song. I agree but back to my original question is it okay to use secular music in a church service? Sure it is music is a great way to bring people to Christ. Where in scripture is music used to evangelize? Just show me one. Um well I think. Music was used when only God's people were present. Okay how about the modern praise and worship artists? Do you have a problem with them? I hear a lot of them and me and I and them for starters. I asked a guy once why the styles have to be so much sounding like the secular songs. He said we must keep pace with our secular counterparts. Question does the scriptures give us any direction about our relation to things secular? We can't just stay away from the world, how are we going to convert them? How about the verses that say do not be conformed to this world? Be in the world, but not of IT. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. The numbers at my church speak for themselves. We have three services, 40 small groups. Pop music connects with unchurched people. Connect and do what? I have been in churches like yours. I was involved at a deeper level. The most biblically dumb people I have come across have been the musicians. I myself am a musician, but I study the Bible as much as I practice. I believe that these mega churches are a breeding ground for an excuse to play your instrument and receive the same adoration there as you receive on the outside, if there really is an outside. Interesting. The musicians should be some of the most knowledgeable ministers in the church. Our music is noise and our worship is play when we hold on to our old life of sin. And we do that by trying to marry the world and the church. I love the excuse for proud pseudo-Christians we are just trying to reach the world. Go out and reach them. Preach on your Facebook page not conform to worldly things. How can Christians go to movies where God's name is abused, or listen to rockers that glorify hell? I know of a pastor who just bought the new ACDC CD. You remember the songs by them Highway to Hell Hell's Bells Hell Ain't Bad Place and so on. I have another question for you. How does the Bible define a fool? Well I remember something in there saying a fool does not believe there is a God. Right a fool in his heart, says there is no God. A wise man is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is arrogant and careless. Another verse in Proverbs states a fool does not delight in understanding, but only in revealing his own mind. Another verse states, while the mind of fools is in the house of pleasure. Would you agree that this pretty much describes the average unbelieving, songwriting extravagant living rock star? Yet yeah, but some of their tunes are perfect beginnings to sermons. If you agree that they are fools, and you say it is okay to use their creations in church then explain this verse, that Solomon wrote it is better to listen to the rebuke of a wise man than for one to listen to the song of fools. You win I have no defense to that. I need to spend my time studying my Bible and gaining wisdom and stop feeding my flesh at that modern Laodiceae in church. I'm so glad we talked.